Hello and welcome to another movie magic fuzzy and tips and tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik and I'll be going over part two of the apply credit feature. If you haven't seen part one, be sure to check it out. Now this new feature of Movie Magic Budgeting 7 allows you to set caps not only on the overall credit, but on individual lines you can set qualified spend caps or credit caps. Let me explain how all that works. So now that we have a basic credit set up, the next thing you may run into is setting up caps for your credit. Uh, certain locales will have limits on the amount that you can get back. So. Up at the top here, we have an apply credit cap which applies to the overall window. So no matter how many lines down here you add, uh, this will cap the total amount that you can get back in the credit. And I'll put uh, some information in there a little bit later. The first thing I want to really go over is the cap types on each individual line. And what you can do here is if you select the drop down, there's three options. There's none, which means there's no cap on that line or there's QS for qualified spend and that caps the amount of qualified spend that can be applied in the cap and CR stand, stands for credit cap and that caps the amount you can get back in the credit let me use these as an example to better illustrate this so if I select QS what this is going to do is cap the qualified spend amount so let's say it was two million dollars so you can get you can use up to two million dollars of qualified spend for the cap. So one, if I put this in here, what it's saying is uh, I can get up to two million dollars of this eight million to qualify and then take 20% off of that. So since we've exceeded that cap, it's taking 20% of the two million dollars because we've hit the cap and that is equaling out to $400,000 and over here on the right, there's a cap variance showing you how much you've exceeded that. And that's in red because you've exceeded the cap. And so it's giving you some visibility as to uh, how much you've spent over the cap amount. Now, uh, down here, let's use the credit cap, which is saying, I'm going to take 25% of this 75000 up to a certain amount. Now, let's say the cap was fifty thousand dollars and so taking the twenty five percent of seventy five thousand dollars we're only eighteen thousand dollars which is well under the fifty thousand dollars and so in green it's showing you that you've got thirty one thousand dollars left before you hit that fifty thousand dollar cap because we're capping the credit amount not the qualified spend amount so all that in place uh, it now adjusted the credit amount based on the caps and so we have a different total here now up here we can put in a total applied credit cap so this is saying of all this information let's say the total amount you can get back is one million dollars now obviously we haven't hit that one million dollars yet so we're okay but if we were at to add more lines of detail in here and it exceeded the one million this applied credit cap would hold it to one million dollars so that's two parts down and one more to go now we'd love to hear your feedback on this feature be sure to send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com also be sure to stop by entertainmentpartners.com and check out the new community section there you can find ways to follow us on twitter friend us on facebook or subscribe to us on youtube We'll be adding new videos every week. Thanks for watching.